This is Getsis and you are watching Weekly Design News. So, let's go! Last week, the world saw a couple of product events. One was held by Amazon and the second by Microsoft. I had strange, very strange feeling that I was watching the same events. Well, I would even say the trilogy that was started with Apple event. Same style and aesthetic, similar lightning, lyrics, music, basically everything that is related to branding. I'm a little confused by this uniformity, but hey, if it works, it works. And also, you know, those events are about the products and some of them look super cool. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce you to a new kind of household robot. Funny household bot from Amazon. You know, I had really good laugh when I saw it because it reminded me of the Love, Death and Robots episode with Duckbot, where it tried to get rid of the owner. Press one. <laughs> Fluff and fall, motherfucker. Flying camera. It's freaky, it's frightening and it's futuristic. Another Amazon stuff that seems to be well done with a neat design and, well, something that probably I would want and expect to buy from them. In the case of Microsoft, it gave two stars. Surface Pro, really neat tablet, laptop, I don't know how to call that. And Surface 2 phone with two screens, a kind of foldable mobile device. Overall, it seems that laptops are becoming tablets or, you know, vice versa. So, probably all web apps will need to consider that, that everybody will be tapping with their fingers. I know, it's hard to find your niche. That's why I created a free mini course, Find Your Niche Without Sacrificing Your Dreams. And it's free! And I promise you, it will serve its purpose. Do not miss out on this opportunity. The link is in the description. A few years ago, Ive left Apple to start his own design studio, Love From. I have seen some rumors, news of his studio working with Airbnb, but overall, it was the most famous and most mysterious design company in the world. Thunder Strikes. Love Prom announced that they will be working with <laughs> Ferrari and Exo. Exo owns Ferrari, along with other famous brands like Fiat, Citroën, Labutan, Juventus, and many more. According to Financial Time, Ive will be working on Ferrari's first electric car. Yup, that's amazing. And it's not only amazing, it's exciting, knowing that I've always been inspired by the work of Dieter Rams. One can only imagine what the car could look like. It's really magical how Coca-Cola manages to make warm, catchy and creative ads, despite being one of the biggest corporations in the world. To me, Coke is Santa Claus and their famous jingle. This month, Coca-Cola is kicking off a new global brand platform. Real magic. Real magic? It's everywhere. Some might think it doesn't exist, but it does. Coke also unveils the Hawk, a new refresh, iconic Coca-Cola logo. Coca-Cola. Real magic. I doubt there's anyone in the world with better marketing strategy. If you are looking for something a little different from snobby uh, branding and design community stuff, you should see Emily. I had some companies like McDonald's reach out to me and ask for a new logo for obvious reasons. So here are my redesigns. 
I don't think you meant for your logo to look suggestive, but right now this looks like two knees to me. I don't want to be thinking about knees while I'm eating my McChicken. Instead of emphasizing the M, I put emphasis on the O instead. And I was thinking this would be a really nice campaign to get some onion rings to pair nicely with your new logo. She redesigned some of our favorite logos and brands with the best sarcasm. Overall, it's funny and sad. Sad because it's really hard to get that much attention with work done rightly with all the you know golden ratio and other artistic tricks. And funny that this doesn't really matter to most people. A good laugh is much stronger feeling than snobby, serious corporate people and designers explaining the magical meaning of their work and logo. Good job. MTV has refreshed, or should I say blended, the two earlier logos. There's a whole generation of young people who do not know that MTV ever aired music videos. It's just crazy to see an iconic brand disconnect from its audience. M is no longer about music, and I hope it's about money and not about making brand disappear. After rebranding with three dimensional Chrome effect logos in the 80s, 90s, automakers from Nissan to BMW are returning to flat designs. Yeah, you heard me right, returning. And now it's Volvo. I don't see flat design as a new trend, but as the logical solution to a universal problem created by another trend. Simplified, two-dimensional logos display better on screens and in small sizes as an app icons or favicons and so on. So who's next? This is main question. Probably das best other nichts? Mercedes. Yeah? Millions, gazillions, reasons to buy, sell the design that opens freedom. Not an easy button to riches, but switches you to richness. Do zobaczenia w następnym tygodniu. See you soon.